morning, beautiful people. This is Brad from the beach. Uh, here we are at the ocean behind us on a bright day, enjoying Jesus and enjoying this opportunity to have fellowship with you. Uh, in yesterday's message, I talked with you about Peter and John on the way to the temple, uh, where they met with this man who'd been lame from birth and how he was healed there as these disciples now who just come out of Pentecost and they're excited about what God's done in them and what God wants to do through them. And as a result of this confrontation, this man receives healing from our Lord. And as you read on past uh, chapter 3 in Acts into chapter 4, uh, you come down to verse 12. And here is the statement in verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we end up dealing with in the journey on the way back to the house. But one of the fundamental things that has to be ingrained in us in terms of the journey is the awareness and the assurance that only Jesus, only Jesus can deliver us from our captivity in this realm that can heal us from a wounded soul. Only Jesus can do that. And there's nothing else in this realm, materially or otherwise, that can provide salvation for us. It's only in and through and by the name Jesus that we can be saved. Now this is a message that doesn't depend on the needs in our society. It's not a message that depends on what's going on in Europe here or there. This is a message that needs to be heard, needs to be sung, needs to be spoken, needs to reach out to all of the world, that there is nothing else in this realm that can provide salvation for us except the name of Jesus. Guys, we have for many times in the church battled between our concern about social issues and spiritual matters. And the truth of the matter is the secular realm and the kingdom realm really just merge together in the sense that the kingdom of God is the thing that provides us out here in this realm an awareness that lives can be transformed regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what leadership is or is not, that it is in the kingdom through the name of Jesus that people and this realm can be transformed. I just want to speak that word today. Uh, we have a lot of questions coming to the church in this season, a lot of questions coming to our pastors and leaders in this season. It's important to understand that fundamentally every person you meet needs to be saved. They need to know the name of Jesus. It's interesting when the people took the man who had been a lame, a lame man and they took him on a mat to a house in Capernaum where Jesus was speaking and they led him down through the roof to get him to Jesus. And the first thing Jesus says to him, your sins are forgiven. The fundamental need for all of us is to have this saving encounter with Jesus who died on a cross that you and I might be saved. There is no other name by which men can be saved. This is bread from the beach. Be blessed.